Hello everyone, this is Mohamad Fahim. I'm a uh, third year BBS student. So today I'm going to do a sort of a challenge video in which I... Uh, so I'm going to study the longest chapter in SPM which is the communicable diseases. So uh, right now the time is around uh, uh, 12 in the morning and uh, I'm going to start right now and uh, I hope I complete the challenge and uh, it, it is the longest chapter and uh, let me just show you how it, uh, uh, how it looks and uh, uh, the book I am studying is the is the Park book, which is the which is the gold standard book in SPM. So let me just show you. So this is the Park book, and uh, uh, let me just show you the chapter which I am going to read. It is the uh, chapter of epidemiology of communicable diseases. It contains all the community-based uh, uh, communicable diseases which are most common in the community. So it starts from the page 158 and it ends right here which is the 404. So let's begin the uh, challenge of studying the longest chapter in SPM. So before beginning let me just tell you that uh, I haven't read this chapter like uh, I had some of the uh, chapters in my first internal assessment so I am reading this uh, chapter for my second internals but uh, the second internals have uh, have some repetition of the same chapter so I have read, read some of the topics but not the full chapter uh, let me just uh, assume let me just uh, uh, if, if it is fortunate then I would be able to complete the whole chapter and otherwise uh, let's see what happens
so i have covered uh, the first three, three diseases which the first one was smallpox the second one was uh, chickenpox and the third one was measles and uh, i have just now covered uh, the rubella so after rubella there is mumps and uh, let me just show you how the text is over here see uh, the so the uh, so the text is all paragraphy and i like to underline with my pencil the important points which uh, i think might be very like uh, which might be uh, important to know of and it's a very theoretical book but uh, it's a good book very interesting point over here in the influenza chapter in which uh, uh, it says uh, patients who have contracted uh, 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 patients who developed guillain barr syndrome after in infection after uh, administration of inactivated influenza vaccine should not be given the vaccine again so uh, it says over here people who developed guillain barr syndrome gbs within 6 weeks of getting an influenza vaccine are contraindicated for uh, inactivated influenza vaccine right now the time is this let me just show you the time is around 2:30 i started around 12 so i have been studying uh, since 2 and a half hours so let me just uh, so let uh, let me just continue with the uh, studying so i don't think i will be able to cover this whole uh, chapter in in uh, a day's time so uh, the challenge the challenge has now changed uh, i will just try to cover as many topics as i can after that i will just uh, i'll just quit it and i'll just uh, uh, i i'll try to cover as much as much topics as i can but after my brain reaches a saturation point i cannot focus then it might after even after forced studying i might not be able to retain what i study so that's the power of our brain so let's see how much i cover
studied for uh, uh, I have just uh, closed the book and uh, I have decided that I will stop the uh, session over here because I am, I am a bit exhausted and the time right now is let me show you the time the time right now is uh, 5.30 around 5.30 so uh, so I think this was the session if you like this video then please subscribe to this channel and also comment down below